Hello guys and welcome to a new video and in today's video I have a quick gameplay for you where I'll be restoring some beautiful memories with the legendary MX-9 If you guys remember the MX-9 had a crazy damage and hipfire accuracy when it was first released But they killed it within two seasons with the non-stop nerfs and other than having one of the best kill effects in the game This MX-9 has a badass name Heartless and today it will be living up to its name as I'll be doing something that you don't see every day You barely see SMG players these days let alone an SMG player chasing down shotgun players with a ground loot mx9 in a mob like alcatraz and it's something that i highly don't recommend obviously because of the advantage shotgun players have at close range but i wanted to have fun in this game and i just took my chances and went all in i hope you guys enjoy and let's get started A lot of you guys ask about the device I'm using which is the iPad mini 5 and whether it's worth it or not and the answer is no it's not it has short freezes and frame drops sometimes like this one right here even though I'm using low graphics and it's not really that bad but the issue is that it gets worse every season so it's not really a good investment and you should go for the M1 or M2 iPads if you have the money or the iPad mini 6 if you want a smaller screen Enemy down. Drop is coming. This guy hits me once with his BY-15 but still runs away despite having high health. I'm not sure why exactly but I didn't bother chasing him, he was so fast he's probably already made it all the way to construction site. And instead I switched to other enemies nearby. Airdrop has been delivered. Enemy down. A quick reminder about a tip that I shared in a previous video which is related to tracking enemy movement and it's very important against shotgun players as they tend to slide and jump a lot between their shots. Now as an SMG player you have two options here. You either do the same and slide like them between your shots which works well when dealing with multiple enemies. And yes you might dodge their bullets but remember you're also wasting valuable damage time when you slide as well as wasting bullets because it's hard to aim and damage the enemy when you're sliding. And at the same time you're giving the enemy enough time to fire their second or even third shot and remember one shot is all it takes and the second option which is what I mostly do is just melt them while they're sliding this way I try to kill them before they fire their second shot but this one requires good aim especially good hip fire tracking skills and luckily there is a setting that can help you with it just go to the sensitivity settings and adjust the third person firing sensitivity this setting controls the speed of aiming with hip fire while shooting so if you feel like it's slow then increase it and if it's too fast then decrease it Move here to get armor.
Your teammate has been killed. The airdrop is coming. Supply drop incoming. The airdrop is coming. They really need to fix the footstep sounds in this building because it's very confusing. You don't know if the player is above you or below you. It's all the same. And it's a reason why campers love this building. So many floors and stairs, a lot of rooms and cover, and the sound issue. All together makes it a perfect habitat for them. I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.